To former CBO Director Douglas Holt Aiken on if workers really think these bonuses are, quote, pathetic. And before I even <laughs> ask you that somewhat tongue-in-cheek, uh, Douglas, I remember Nancy Pelosi chairing a $40 uh, rebate to workers uh, back when President Trump had signed in some legislation saying it was significant. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be an awkward position for Democrats to stand between uh, the, their constituents' prosperity and, and, and they, they're not going to keep this up very long. I mean, corporate America has done something that I think is very smart. Uh, as you know, uh, for eight years during the Obama administration, big corporations got beaten up basically every day. Uh, they were uh, a lot of finger pointing. They were the source of all our problems. And what did they do? They turned around. They took the first opportunity where they got some sort of... Uh, of uh, help and they they pass it along to their workers and they they really uh, push right back against that image. I thought it was a very bright thing for them to do. It also helps each of the corporations. I, the labor market is tightening. Who do you want to work for? The guys who hand out bonuses when they get the chance, or some other company. So uh, this is really, uh, I think, a very smart move from the point of view of the the larger arc of the the politics of corporations, but also just from their labor market incentives. Well, Douglas, what about the notion, uh, of course, that. Um you know, no matter what they give, by the way, I think the, some folks will never be satisfied or find a way to critique or criticize. Right. And yesterday, for instance, Walmart uh, giving 1.5 million workers uh, bonuses, maternity leave, pater uh, paternity leave, $5,000 bonuses for, for adoption, and yet being criticized for having closed Sam's Club stores, which obviously in this competition against Costco and, and Amazon, they just happen to be a casualty there. Yeah, I think that's exactly backwards. I mean, look at it this way. You're in a position where you have a failing line of business, which is the Sam's Clubs, that you have to close, and you still take the opportunity to provide additional paid family leave and a, a, an increase in the minimum wage for your workers. That seems to me a pretty good day for a company. Let's talk about the market rally and the economy as well. The news keeps hitting. Uh, one bit of news no one's going to see on any other network. The National Retail Federation uh, holiday sales number came in significantly better than expected. In fact, the best year-over-year -year gain since the end of the Great Reset Recession back in 2010. Can we keep this going? Uh, I'm really interested in seeing what fourth quarter GDP is going to look like. I mean, people got very excited about the third quarter being above 3 percent. A lot of that was inventory build. Uh, the, the final sales underneath it were about 2.3 percent. Uh, fourth quarter data, though, looks strong. They look strong in the household sector. They look pretty strong in... in uh, CAPEX and durable goods purchases. So uh, we could see that number bouncing up in the fourth quarter, which shows the strength of the economy coming into 2018. And the market speaks for itself. The question is, will the rest of those fundamentals look just as good? And I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be wonderful to get three consecutive quarters at 3% GDP growth. It's been a long time since that's happened. Doug, thanks a lot. Yes. Always appreciate it.